Every Hood River County School District school has an operational blueprint that has been developed in partnership with our local health authority, the Hood River County Health Department. Each operational blueprint is available to the public on the district's website. Ensuring that all staff follow safety protocols is critical. If you have any questions about this employee leave types video, please contact Human Resources. We want to ensure that staff that come to work are healthy and COVID-19 symptom free. There are a variety of possible leave options for employees depending on their individual circumstances. The most important part of this process is communication. Be sure that you are communicating with your supervisor and or the human resources department if you do not think that you are able to come to work. As we are planning to bring students back to in-person instruction, more employees will be required to work on site. The district has a responsibility to ensure a safe workspace for our students and staff. We follow and enforce OSHA guidelines. We need employees that are not sick to work. Employees that are sick or have COVID-19 symptoms or COVID-19 exposure to stay away from the work site. We are all doing our part to keep our employees, our work sites, and our students safe. So the Families First Coronavirus Leave is um, a leave entitlement for employees who actually um, have COVID symptoms and are unable to work. If they are at home um, awaiting test results to confirm the, the presence of COVID, or if they are advised by medical professionals to quarantine or isolate. There's also um, special leave available um, to employees um, for childcare if um, their children are unable to um, attend childcare or if school is not in session and the children are at home and the employee cannot work from home, then there's special leave available as well under the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. So OFLA is the Oregon Families and Medical Leave Act. Um, it provides um, entitled leave to qualified employees um, and it um, includes job protection and maintenance of, of um, your health insurance benefits if you in fact qualify. Um, there's also a federal act which is the Federal Families and Medical Leave Act that we call FEMLA and it covers a lot of the same, um, same types of medical conditions and entitlements for employees. Um, it does have a different um, threshold to um, qualify for that leave but um, we certainly We'd be happy to talk talk through the various situations with employees to determine if they um, apply or if they uh, qualify for one or both of those. So sick leave, um, sick family leave, and sick time is for um, short duration absences. So something that doesn't qualify for the Family First Coronavirus Response Act leave or emergency paid sick leave or OFLA or FEMLA. So it's if the employee is sick for a day or two or their family member um, might be sick and need their attention or need them to attend to them for a day or two, that would actually be charged to sick leave, sick time, or sick family leave. So emergency leave is an entitlement for employees per their collective bargaining agreement. Um, it's for a catastrophic event um, that cannot be um, nicely covered by any other type of leave entitlement. Um, it's three days um, per year for employees. There is an emergency, or there is a, um, a leave request process that um, needs to be followed um, to grant approval for that, but it's something that um, all employees are entitled to. So workers' comp leave is when an employee is injured on the job or um, develops an illness or a condition related to their work. Um, it provides insurance coverage and um, time loss benefits if the employee cannot work. So whenever an employee um, is injured on the job or suffers um, an illness or a condition, um, the employee needs to complete an incident report with their supervisor. Um, and then if the employee needs to seek medical attention for that particular um, condition, they need to complete what's called an 801 form, and that actually um, is the, the claim form submitted to SAFE. 
So employees are able to request a leave of absence um, for licensed and classified employees. It's per their collective bargaining agreement. Classified employees can request up to a 90-day general unpaid leave of absence, or um, if their situation warrants, they could request up to 180-day educational leave of absence. And then teachers are um, able to apply for up to a one-year leave of absence per their collective bargaining agreement. And those, um, those requests actually require school board approval. So if somebody's interested, they certainly can contact us. Uh, we always encourage them to uh, first contact their supervisor or their administrator to, to talk through the details. If you are taking time off that involves international travel, all employees and students must quarantine for 14 days upon their return to the U.S. prior to returning to work. So with regard to medical information, um, we actually maintain all medical information confidentially in the Human Resources Office and don't share the medical details outside of the HR department. And all um, medical related forms are maintained in a separate medical file, separate from the personnel file. Hi there. I just want to remind you that communication is key. Keeping in good communication with your supervisor or the human resources office if you need to be gone or want to be gone from work is critical. There are many different leave types and it can be very confusing. So we want to make sure that we are here to help you answer any questions that you might have to see if you might be eligible for any kind of protected or paid leave. Uh, in your particular circumstance. For example, if you are gone for three or more days, you may qualify for OFLA FEMLA. And we also need to know if you or a family member have been hospitalized for any length of time. Making sure that we have this type of medical information that we keep confidential is really important to make sure that we can support you in your role in educating our students in Hood River County School District. Thank you.